Hi, my name is Julian Guevara. Um, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I, I'm originally from Nuevo Laredo, Tamaulipas, Mexico, uh, but I've lived in the, in the Dallas area since about the age of two. I was introduced to the script Rio de Sangre uh, by my good friend Maurice Rivkin. After reading the script, I fell in love with, with, with the story and also as well as the character I'm about to play, uh, Jorge. Uh, the story about Jorge is uh, he's, a, he's a third grade teacher who receives a letter from, from his long lost love and here he is trying to leave everything in his past um, and willing to take a chance and come across the border uh, illegally to, to try to make a living and take a chance with his future love. Um, the thing about Jorge is, that strikes me, is, is normally when you view movies or, or TV series, you don't necessarily get a chance to know who it is that is crossing. Uh, typically, you get the, the, the typical stereotypes, uh, and Jorge is not one of those. He is actually a person that has done his research uh, as far as crossing the border is concerned and who wants to make a significant impact and, and wants to get from point A to point B. Uh, and that's, that's where we stand with, with Jorge. We also just finished reading through the, we just had our table read and um, I'm very impressed with, with, the, with the rest of our cast members. Uh, it, it's nice to hear how each other's voices and I guess already, I'm already beginning to play in, in my head some, some of the type of scenes that we'll have. And it's, I've been in laughter since about the age of uh, eight years old. I originally, when I was in third grade, I was thrown on stage and my first role was uh, to play Benito Juarez. And uh, my school at the moment was about 98% uh, Latino. And uh, I didn't have any lines on there, but the idea of being thrown on stage and, and, uh, and receiving the, the applause after, after the show was over was, was powerful enough to make me want to pursue acting. Uh, then after that, I really didn't pursue acting for about four or five years. Once I entered high school, I knew that acting, or, and I felt very strongly that acting would be my ticket to, to college, which of course from high school, which I went to Anderson High School uh, in Dallas, Texas, I immediately jumped into the theater department at Southern Methodist University. Um, realizing that I would sell more in the Spanish market than I would the English. Uh, I know I've spoken Spanish my entire life, but it wasn't quite as educated as I wanted it to be. Um, and I thought that by switching majors from theater to Spanish, I would be able to kind of educate my Spanish a little bit more um, and also be introduced to a lot more Spanish literature that, than I have ever been. And thus far, I, I, I would say it's paid off. Uh, I've managed to get cast for a good number of um, Spanish roles. And, and in this one, I am going to try my best to assist Christian, um, our, who is our director, as far as translating the script and, and, um, and also helping out Maurice and, and my fellow actors as well. I think pers my strongest, I would say, is just physically me. Uh, I know that there's just not that many. Uh, I would say there's not quite as many there are Latin, dark Latino actors, but there's just not quite as many actually shown on TV or, or films and stuff. And I feel like that's one of the things I can offer. Uh, and also being having the training that I've had, I, I feel pretty confident that I can portray just about any role that I have a chance at. What's your weakest? My weakest? I would say, at the moment, not being able to control my accent. Uh, I wish I, and I'm, it's, it's a battle that I continuously have. Uh, I'm not sure that I will conquer it, but I am, with each of the roles that I get, um, I, I, I practice my English at, as best as possible. But a year and a half ago, I, back, I guess you could say, January 2007, I had a brother who 
passed away. And ironically enough, his, his name was, was, or is Jorge. And it, it was actually spelled out in English. It, it goes by George, but all of our family just calls him Jorge. And um, I know that uh, Jorge was, my brother, was, was, was a fighter. And he, in his life, he faced so many, he faced so many battles. Um, and just like in this character, uh, the, the role of Jorge, uh, he's trying to find a motivation, uh, something that will help push him to the next step. And uh, thankfully for, for this letter from his long lost love, I think he's willing to take a chance um, at what he is leaving behind to move on and fight for the next step in his, in his, in his life.